Hello and welcome back to Freaky Nip Live. My name is Dinesh. We are watching today's season 2 episode 2 of Futurama. As you have seen in the title, I don't know why I'm repeating this shit. Right, we're gonna see what's the episode called first. Okay, this one is called Mars University. The previous season they went on the moon. In this season they already been to Titanic and a black hole. Almost been to a black hole. Now we're gonna go to Mars. Let's see if they find any alien over there and of course they will find an alien. The whole earth is filled with aliens. You don't think there will be people and aliens on Mars? Fucking stupid Dinesh, that's what you are. We're gonna be looking at some Martians, some Marsh aliens. Mars. Mars, not Marsh, Mars. Right, now at this point I'm just babbling stuff. Welcome back and uh, yeah, if you are not subscribed, hit subscribe. And if you wanna watch the full length reaction video of this episode and other movies and TV shows reaction that I do, head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my full length reaction videos over there. Yeah, let's jump right into this Mars episode. We're gonna start this in three, two, one, go. Good news, everyone. We've got a very special. <laughs> this guy, okay, it's only been nine seconds. I'm pausing it. I'm sorry. But this guy, every time the season opens, this guy is always like, Yeah, I have something to do with this. Why the fuck is my camera on? Why the fuck it's on? I'm just gonna move it to here. If somebody's watching, you can't watch now. I don't know. For some reason, my webcam is on. It says it's on. So somebody's probably watching me. Hello, you fucking pervert. Why are you watching me at this time? I'm just recording videos on the internet. If you want to watch my videos, go watch like other people do on YouTube. So at least I get some money. Or you can pay me. That'd be better, right? FBI, CIA. Who the fuck are you watching me? Right. <laughs> Every time the episode opens up, always this old guy like, Oh, gang, I got something to do for you. I got something exciting. And then he says some stuff uh, which almost get everybody killed except him because he's just enjoying life at this point. Right, okay, we're gonna jump back. Delivery today. Who's it going to? Me. <laughs> Another job well done. <laughs> <It's> done. <laughs> I need it shipped to my office at Mars University. It's a little expensive. Will you pay them? Will you pay yourself? Eyes. In what field? I don't care. They all pay the same. Is it dangerous? Oh, of course. Yeah, always. It is dangerous. <laughs> Oh, it's not dangerous. You just shot it. Okay. Off we sounded go. Like sounded like a human. Who the fuck was inside of it? <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> and we are at the red planet Mars. Mars University. Knowledge brings fear. <laughs> fear to who? <laughs> well, actually, if you think about it, that is actually very correct. If you don't know about anything, you're not afraid. If you know about something, then you are afraid of that thing. Like if somebody never saw a bear, won't they would never be afraid of bear if they only seen bear in like movies and TV shows. And they might even scare the bear by, you know, trying to hug them, you know, trying to act big because they don't know anything. But if they know what the bear can do, yeah, then you're already fucked. You'll be running around trying to save yourself. So knowledge is fear. The more knowledgeable you are, the more scared you will be of this world. So... Fuck school. <laughs> fuck the knowledge. The thing I just said is just a joke. So please don't fuck school. Uh, and uh, don't leave school. Stay in school. You yeah? know? Knowledge is everything. Knowledge is the key. It's just a joke. But fuck school. Fuck learning. Century, we had no idea there was a university on Mars. Well, in those days, Mars was just a dreary, uninhabitable wasteland. Yeah, much like Utah. Is. But un <laughs> <laughs> eventually made livable. <laughs> Why? Why is Utah never livable? Unlike <laughs> Utah. <laughs> Does that all mean right. it's safe to breathe the air? You are breathing the air. <laughs> what have you been doing all this time, Fry? <sighs> Over here is Wong, Wong Library. Library. It has the largest collection of literature in the Western universe. What does he say? There's two books, fiction and non-fiction. They're just two discs. My old robot fraternity. Epsilon Rho Rho. You went to college? Of course, I'm a e bender. E I went to bending college. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Is that, is that what people call docking? Eh, close is that enough. docking? Come on in. Thanks. <laughs> Here's your finger back. <laughs> what the fuck? All the coolest robots are in this fraternity. Not anymore, I think. Now they're playing chess. I'm Gearshift, chapter president. This is Oily, and this here is Fatbot. <laughs> Fatbot. My name's Bender. <gasps> 
bender oh. from Bending State Bender? Wow! He's a legend here? Oh shit, yeah. That in one single night, you drank a whole keg, streaked across campus, and crammed 58 humans into a foam booth. Yeah, well... Yeah. You... Those were the younger days. Please, you've got to stay and teach us how to be cool. Mm. Bender, it's your duty. You are the senior. I'll need 10 kegs of beer, a continuous tape of Louie Louie, and a regulation two-story penny you rig ladder. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Being here really takes me back to my college days. Oh, okay. I thought you could take me back to Mars. Snake boys. Oh, look at that. Simpson was here. Get right up. Another episode with Simpson. Don't take this the wrong way, Fry, but you don't seem like the educated type. Oh, yeah? What the fuck do you mean, Leila? Read it and weep. No, it is a failure. I'm a certified college dropout. Please. You always carry that in your pocket? The colleges were basically expensive daycare centers. That's true. By... Never thought of like that. That is very true. What the fuck? What the fuck? My mind is just blown. It was a fucking daycare center, wasn't it? I went to college to study engineering so that I could be a software engineer, you know. Even though I didn't want to do engineering, but you know, I'm Indian and uh, it's in my genes. Sorry. It's in my parents' genes that they can convince me to do anything they want at that time. So they wanted me to do become an engineer. I had to become an engineer. So I did. I studied that. I mean, I did study programming and all that shit, but it was more of a, like, you know, a life lesson. More of like, it's the first time I went away from my home and living in this place. <laughs> well, according to them, living in this day here and uh, it's time to study. But also, I learned so much about life just, in, just by staying in college because there were so many different kind of people and you learn about so much of other stuff. Before college, the only thing I knew is to, like, if you, after high school, either you can become a doctor if you take medical. If you take non-medical, you're going to become an engineer. If you take commerce, you're going to become, uh, you're going to do a bank job, a bank clerk. Or if you take arts, that means you're going to do politics. So these were the four things that were taught me in, in school. But when I went to college, I'm like, holy shit, there's so many different careers and you can be anybody you can want to be. And that's where I started uh, doing some extracurricular activities for the first time in my life. I started speaking a lot, uh, doing some public speaking because I was scared shit before that to just even speak to a random stranger. And uh, yeah, in general, I learned a lot from college and a little bit of programming, which I actually went there to learn. But yeah, it is fucking a daycare center, isn't it? Current academic standards, you're merely a high school dropout. What? That's not fair. I deserve the same respect any other college dropout gets. <laughs> By like Zuckerberg? I'm going to enroll here at Mars University and drop out all over again. You won't last two weeks. Oh. I mean, that's the plan, right? That's the plan, yep. <laughs> oh, she's so many Z's. Hey, professor, what are you teaching this semester? Same thing I teach every semester. The mathematics of quantum neutrino fields. Take that. I made up the title so that no student would dare take it. Oh, he will take it. <laughs> now teach your uncle. I, I don't know how to teach. I'm a professor. See in class. You were a teacher before, too. And you just said it. You are a professor. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> this they is going to be great. Girl robot. Oh, no. They're human girls. Okay. Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. God damn. This the typing speed. Get a load of that! What? Okay. They were not checking out humans, they were checking out computers. <laughs> this time, Robot House has gone too far. Cheese it! <laughs> Financial and okay. Hey, huh? Pretty nice for a single. Two desks, two chairs, a couple of beds. There must be a roommate too. Come on in, Rumi. Hmm? Oh, a monkey. What the? I call top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> My monkey, which planet are you from? Ah, Fry. I see you've met Gunter. You Gunter? know each other? Gunter is my experiment. He was the top secret contents of this. Oh, secret. that was Gunter. Been a crate and share a room with this dork. <laughs> Why? Is he genetically engineered? 
Oh, please. That's preposterous science fiction mumbo jumbo. Okay, so what happened? Actually lies in his electronium hat, which harnesses the power of sunspots to produce cognitive radiation. And that's not science mumbo jumbo. Wasting your breath, Professor. He'll never understand a word of it. You want a banana? <laughs> I prefer banana flavored energy bars made from tofu. Okay, you're like one of those you. monkeys. Yeah, exactly. I don't like that either. I don't like meat, but I like vegan meat. If you want to have vegan food, have vegan food, right? But don't have vegan meat. What the fuck is a vegan meat? If you want, if I want to have meat, I'll have meat. And if I want to have vegan food, I'll have vegan food. I'm Indian. Most of my diet is vegan, right? And if I'm going out and I... I hear some other person saying, Oh, I want to have a burger, a vegan burger, but it tastes exactly like meat. Fuck you, you bitch. Fuck off. <laughs> if you want to have meat, have meat. If you want to have vegan food, you can get a vegan burger too, which is, when I say vegan, I mean, I mean like, it won't taste like meat. It have, you know, it's it probably have a potato patty in that burger. It doesn't matter. It's fucking vegan. Have, have that. But why meat flavored vegan food? That's fucking preposterous. I don't, I don't. It's the same thing which I don't like about people who like decaf coffee. What the fuck is a decaf coffee? The only purpose of coffee is to, you know, wake you up and also taste good. If you want to drink coffee you have, and you want to also go to sleep, just don't drink coffee. Get something else to drink. Fucking decaf coffee. Who the fuck like decaf coffee? If you like decaf coffee, I was going to say unsubscribe, but no. Just keep subscribing. I love you guys. Yeah, decaf is good. Welcome to the history of the 20th century. Look to your left, then to your right, then in nine other directions. One of the 12 of you will not pass this class. Okay, thank you for that confidence. The only sure way to get an A in this class is to have lived in the 20th century. Oh, for I have done it. <laughs> you were saying, That's Mr. Cool. Fry? That's I'm from the 20th cool. century. Go ahead, ask me anything. He won't know anything. What device invented in the 20th century allowed people to view broadcast programs in their own homes? TV? What do you call it? Light bright. <laughs> you, you get shocked. The answer is the television? Yeah, Very exactly. good, Mr. Gunter. Gunter. <laughs> and cute. Oh. <laughs> Mental Leptus Hall. What I love about being Dean of Students is the peace and quiet and the respect I receive. He won't nope. receive any respect. Vernon, the students from Robot House are here. Robot House. D hey, Dean. Nice looking model. You keep away from it. <laughs> robots are a disgrace to this university. Whenever a fire alarm is pulled, it's Robot House. Well, that's fucking racist. Looted robot house. How do you Whenever know? a human corpse is desecrated. Now I can explain that. <laughs> I have to get back to the one thing that's kept me sane these past eight years. My Morning. model ship. Yeah. Where did it go? Fatbot! No! Oh, shit. Well, okay. I'm nervous. I get hungry. Uh, you're gonna shit. die. You're gonna die, Fatbot. Robot house! If you're not doing anything later, might I escort you to a kegger? Not even if you were the last man on Mars. <laughs> Why are you still using books, yo? This is th the year 3000. <laughs> oh, wow. Gunther is doing pretty good, though. Hey, you like bananas? I got her number. How do you like them bananas? <laughs> He's trying to make me look like an idiot. Don't be too. Well, you are an idiot. Special hat. Gunther might be no more intelligent than you. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna take off that hat. Fry, that monkey is my most important experiment. If you two don't stop fighting, I'll have you both neutered. <laughs> That'll show him. That'll show you too. Parents reception. Dean Vernon, I'd like you to meet my parents. Why are your parents in Mars? They are everywhere. They were on the cruise ship too. Glad we could admit Amy in exchange for your generous contribution. What's the gender's competition? <clears throat> Sorry I'm late. I was off at a study session with Chrissy. Gunther, don't be an asshole. Or he'll take off your hat. Glad you made it, Gunther. Because in Gunther. honor of Parents Weekend, I have a special surprise for you. It's your parents. Dad, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> this is so 
humiliating. <laughs> now these monkeys I like. <laughs> What's that? You want to come out? Oh, shit, no. No, stop. <laughs> well, okay. They are doing what monkeys do best, though. I say. What's that they're flinging at us? Oh, dear Lord. It's feces. It's all over the Dean. Oh, shit. Looks like the party's winding down. Let's take a road trip to Tijuana and get fat bot some action. There's March Tijuana. It's my first time. I'm really nervous. Don't eat up. Okay. <laughs> Robot house! But this time, you got feces thrown by a monkey. Hey, what's going on? I thought you didn't like bananas. Of course I do. He's a monkey. I he try does. so hard to fit. I love bananas. My parents act like that made me realize I'm just a primitive beast. <laughs> hey. See, Fry, what you did? Everyone turns out like their parents. I mean, look at me. My folks were honest, hardworking people. <laughs> and I'm not. <laughs> You've got the hat. So what? I mean, sure, it looks cool and it makes me smart, but it doesn't make me happy. <laughs> nobody's happy, Gunther. Nobody's happy. But we still continue. Monkeys could cry. They can't. It's all the hat. <laughs> <laughs> if you're so miserable here, maybe you should just go back to the jungle. The jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion. Too. And he's like a father to me. But he's not your father. That guy in the your punch bowl was... <laughs> your real father was throwing feces at the dean. Look at him. I'm so proud. Thanks, Professor. Not, Not you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Why they gotta zap him? <sighs> All I think he's thinking about is a banana. And he'll copy the banana. <laughs> he just wanna swing at trees. But I also wanna make Professor proud. Professor? Tree. Oh shit, he's having a panic attack. Oh no, anxiety attack. I've been there. I've been there, Gunther. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid so. All he handed in was a paper smeared with feces. <laughs> Hide with fry. I guess he realized I was right when I told him to go back to the jungle. You what? You did? <laughs> now here's my opinion. What we should do is... Let Gunther decide what he want to be. What? I said we'll go to the jungle and let Gunther decide once and for all. What? Oh, he's, he's joking, right? He just don't want to hear that. Know the rules. Whichever house wins the regatta becomes head of the Greek Council. And should that house currently be on any type of multiple secret probation, it will... Like a robot house? And I will okay. be forced to serve as Grand Marshal of a parade honoring them. What are these... I... Okay, what were these prizes, yo? It's just Dean giving himself the hard time. On your marks. What the fuck? That's fucking stupid, Dean. Wow. Where does she get a machete from? Like the jungles on Earth. Jungles on Earth? <laughs> I see some. There aren't any jungles on Earth, not anymore. Stand back. Shit. What the fuck? He showed. He just threw a grenade. Oops. Don't worry. They'll be fine once the tranquilizer wears off. And oh wow, what the fuck was that elephant doing on a tree? <laughs> Professor, I mean, he's still thinking. And you know. Fry, you'll offer him the banana. We'll let him choose whether he wants to be intelligent or just a mindless animal. I'll just take both of the okay. Come on, Gunther, take the hat. No, the banana, the banana. Consider the philosophical and metaphysical ramifications <laughs> of banana, the banana, banana, banana. <laughs> Wait, take both of them. Sure, this is a shortcut. Not as sure as I was an hour ago. <laughs> Where's Gunther now? Uh oh, okay. Well, there goes your shortcut, Bender. That was a shortcut. Fucking that was a shortcut. <laughs> Let's go! That's fucking stupid. They're gonna die, but Gunther will save them. Won't you, Gunther? Oh no. God, this log is sturdy. <laughs> the, uh, very sturdy. 
Gunther, take both. Use the Gunther. put on the hat and get your intelligence and eat the banana and get your potassium. No, not there. Keep trying. <laughs> Why my brain is like fry? Eureka! The hat goes on the head. It's all so obvious now. Hang on, I need to do some calculations. Oh wow, okay. What about Gunther? Appreciate it, Gunther. Oh shit! You can climb. Oh, you can climb. Oh shit! No, not anymore. Gunther, climb up the vine. You can still save yourself. Why bother? I've got nothing to live for. Don't I'm... kill yourself, Gunther. As a monkey, I was so dumb I tried to wear a hat on my butt. <laughs> it's not the time to laugh, right? For me in this world. Although, on the other hand. He's alive. Oh, He's alive. Poor sweet monkey. Well, let's he, he must be alive. There's no sense letting him go to waste. What the fuck do you mean, Professor? You're gonna eat him? I guess the hat must have broke my fall. It seems to be working at only half capacity, but I can fix it. No, wait! I like it like this. I actually feel sort of happy. <clears throat> about your super intelligence when I you need that, to know you need to know the slogan of this university is knowledge is fear half the knowledge half the fear so you'll be happy more easy math fucking easy math out of life is to be a monkey fucking of smart. moderate intelligence who wears a suit that's why i've decided to transfer to business school no <laughs> not the business school At least Fat Boss, Fat Boss mother would be proud. Big party in Robot House. <laughs> Fat dropped out of successfully and returned to his dead end. What? Return to where? Return to dead end delivery job. <laughs> Kanta got his MBA and become president of the Fox Network. Hopefully, you will get less copyrights then. Fatboy caught a computer virus into her and had to be rebooted. Leela went on a date with the Dean Vienna and has never called again, as she always does. His job done, Bender stole everything and fell you from Robot House and ran off. <laughs> I like the old soap opera type ending. Well, or an old movie ending where they go. This guy, after finishing college, he went on, got a job, and then killed a person, and now he's in jail. You know, that sort of ending. I actually like those sort of ending. Not the good ones, you know, where they always like, oh, after this, he, he got married to his love of his life, and then he lived happily ever after. Fuck no, I want a death, at least. No, fuck no, I want at least something bad to happen, because that's what happened in real life. There's always something bad happening. So, I like that they did that, you know, they did tell us the bad stuff. Like, Bender stole everything, as he always does. Leela went on on a date, and then never called this guy again. Monkey did the MBA, that was a good one. Like, that was a happy one. So, with Monkey, that's all right, because he's not human. And then the last one, which was Fry. Fry dropped out and went to his old job. You know, the job he did a thousand years ago. Same old, same old delivering job. Well, guys, that was this episode of Futurama, the Mars University. Hope they, hopefully one day we can all go to Mars and, you know, it's, it's easy to get there and uh, it won't charge you much and you can study there and we all will know and we can preach about that, that knowledge is fear. If you're coming here, you better be scared or you'll get electrocuted. Right on the chair. We never had a frat house in our college. Never. I don't think we we do that in India. If you, any of you, are in college or you know been to college and had frats at that time, what was it like? For me, frat experience has always been like from movies and TV shows that I watched. So it's always been like yeah, a bunch of guys. And there's always gonna be a guy named Chad who's gonna be super bully to everybody. And uh, at the end, he is gonna know what he's. At, and at the end, something bad gonna happen to Chad and everybody will be happy. And there will always be drunken games, you know, throwing a ping pong ball in the in a cup so you drink beer and all that sort of games. Like those sort of games we also had in college. But what else do frat people do? What else like, other than studying, cause apparently they don't do that. 
what do, what do they do let me know in the comment section that been it for today guys hope you guys have a great day if it's your birthday happy birthday and i will see you guys tomorrow bye